So next we'll look at file extensions, which is the third problem from pset one. So it says in a file called extensions.py, implement a program that prompts the user for the name of a file and then outputs that media's file type if the file's name ends case insensitively in any of the suffixes. And then we have a list of different file extensions. If the file's name ends with some other suffix or has no suffix at all, output application octet stream instead, which is a common default. So a few examples of this, if the user was to input cat.text, then we would output text slash plane. If they were to input dog.bin, which is not in our list, we would output application slash octet stream. So firstly, we need to get input from the user. So we can say file name and then run our input function and we can prompt them with file name. And again, we need to make this case insensitive so we can say lower and we can just, we can say strip for good measure to remove any trailing white space. And then we need to compare their input with, or rather we need to compare the extension at the end of their input with our list of extensions and see if we have a match. One way to do this would be to use if, elif and else statements. So that would look something like this. Personally, I think if you're using this many elifs in a row and they're all doing very similar things, then it probably means there's a better way to do things. Um, just quickly to note here, we've used the ends with method, which is similar to the starts with from the last problem set. So it just returns true if the string ends with the specified suffix, otherwise it returns false. So if the file ends with .png counting back from the last four characters, then uh, this becomes true and this elif statement will execute. So as I said, this is not the way I'm going to solve it, but just to check that this does work, let's go to a terminal and give it a quick test. So we can say cat.text and we get back text plane, which is correct. And if we were to do uh, dog bin, we would get back octet stream, which is again, correct. Now going back to our code, the way I'd prefer to solve this problem is to store all of our extensions and then our outputs in a dictionary. So up here we have a dictionary called media types and inside we have each of our extensions in key value pairs. To write this program, we can start the same way. We can say file name and then we need to get in, uh, input from user. So we can say file name and again, whoops, we can run our lower and our strip. So that's gonna work in exactly the same way. But now we need a way to actually split the user's input up because we only need to compare against the extension. So we can't use the ends with um, a method anymore. So to do that, I'm gonna say file name and then a method called dot split, which if you read the documentation, it returns a list of the words in the string using sep as the delimiter string. Okay, so the only argument we're gonna pass is where we want the string to actually split. So I'm gonna put a dot here, which means if the user is to write cat.text, it's gonna find this in the string and split um, split the string here. So we're now gonna have two separate strings. We're gonna have cat and text. And he did say it's gonna return this to us as a list. But if we wanna store these both separately, then we can provide two separate variables and it will assign the first word to the first variable and the second word to the second. I'm gonna say here name, which is the file name. And secondly, I'm gonna say extension. And that explains why I haven't included the uh, dots in my file extensions up here because when we split on this it's actually going to delete this so this no longer exists so our extension now is just going to be txt so if we try and compare this to this we're never going to get the comparison and it's not going to work how we want it to but now we actually need to run our conditionals and check if there's any matches so we can say if extension in media types then we want to print media types and we can use these square brackets to actually index into our dictionary so we can say um, extension here else we are going to print uh, as before our default response so what's actually happening here first we take an input from the user then we're making it lowercase and stripping any white space next we're going to use that same input and we're going to split it on the dot so we're going to split it into the file name which we're not actually using and the extension. Then we're gonna check if that extension is in our dictionary up here. And if it is, we'll index into that dictionary using the key and return the value to our print statement to be printed to the terminal. Else, if there isn't a match, we will simply print our default the same as before. So let's give this a quick test. Run our program, this time we'll um, extension two, that's the name of this program. And we can say cat.text and we get the right back, we get the right answer back. And we can go again and we can say dog uh, dot min and we get our default answer back. So I think this way is more concise, more readable and just better designed code overall. This way we're only checking 
uh, a single conditional. And if that's not true, then we can print our else statement. Whereas in the first one, we were checking six, seven different conditionals every single time. But let me know in the comments which version you preferred. And if you had a different solution, feel free to share that as well. And I'll see you next time.